guys, so today I'm going to be doing a weekly tarot reading. Today is Sunday, March 11th. Um, before I get into it, there's just a couple things that I wanted to say. Firstly, um, thank you anybody that was supportive of last week's video. That really meant a lot to me because I was definitely trying something new on my channel. Some of you were like, oh, this is great that you're beginning to get into tarot, um, which thank you again for the support. But um, I'm not like beginning to get into tarot. I've been into it for quite some time. I got my first deck when I was 12, maybe 13, seventh grade, however old you are then. And no, I haven't been practicing it like every day since, but it's been something that I've picked up and put down and picked up and put down. So I definitely want to consider myself a beginner at tarot. I have been working with tarot for quite some time. I've just never shared it before um, with you guys or on my channel. This reading is going to be going over, you know, the energy and the vibe for the week for us as a society, for people as a whole, you know, just anybody who's watching, just the general feelings and vibes and energies for this week ahead of us. I just wanted to also say that if you are going to be reading tarot, it's really important to try to get yourself in the right like mindset and the right mind frame. And there's many ways you can do that. I can make a video about that in the future. It's just really important to just kind of get in that space. And I'm just going to invite you to take a few deep breaths with me if you are interested. So... This just kind of helps me to relax, get in the right mindset. I'm going to have a sip of red wine. Kind of get the feelings in the right place so that I feel like I can do, you know, the most productive, efficient reading possible. <laughs> so let's take my cards and I'm just going to do another three card spread this week. I might try up some other spreads in the future, but for now, I think that's what works best. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle until it feels right to me. Okay, that was very quick. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is quickly film the deck so that I can show you guys exactly what I'm seeing. Firstly, the first card I pulled is the Ace of Swords, and you will see a deer next to just one sword, obviously the Ace, um, kind of just looking into the distance. The next thing we have is the Knight of Cups, and that is this center card right here, and you will see what looks to be like a little elf or a fairy riding on some sort of a seahorse and holding a chalice. It looks like he, yes, he is in the water. Lastly, we have the Eight of Swords, and you'll see that this card, you know, is in fact reversed, and it is a man encircled in swords. Um, he's also blindfolded, and there is a little imp or like a kind of like devilish creature present in that drawing. So now I'm going to move the cards in front of me. So excuse the glare on the Eight of Swords. <laughs> okay. So again, the three card spread that I'm working with, you kind of want to look at the first card as maybe how things have worked in the past, the middle card as the current situation or the present, and the last card on the right as how the situation will resolve itself or how things can, you know, go about in the future, how to change the situation, how to fix the situation, what to expect, stuff like that. Let us begin. Okay, so let's begin. And just to point out, remember that a card has a different meaning if it is upright um, than it does if it is reversed or, you know, upside down. So this reading is more of an interesting one because it kind of starts off, um, more positive than it ends, but that's okay, and it just depends on the interpretation of the cards. So what I'm getting from the Ace of Swords is that this card, you know, is kind of depicting strength and triumph um, in a positive manner and using power in a in a positive way instead of in a negative way and misusing power. But again, this card has to do a lot with strength, and we've talked about, you know, what each of the cards stands for. Um, as far as my deck, you have the cups mean water, uh, wands are fire, swords, swords are air, and the rings are earth. So again, this card has more to do with communication. Um, and it's not as much of a physical strength as it would be a strength that has to do with your intelligence or has to do, you know, with um, the way that you communicate, um, your words, stuff like that. So as we move on to the center card, 
The center card is kind of telling us that, you know, right now, general energy of the week is that we're kind of feeling like we have a lot of good ideas, we're feeling more creative. Again, this is the cups, so this has more to do with your emotions, your feelings, you know, stuff that's going on inwardly. It's kind of showing us that using, you know, our artistic side, our creative side, you know, our originality can really help us move ahead in life and it will you know, be positive, again, positive for us. It will help us succeed. So this week, you know, you'll see again that there's been strength in the past from our communication and now maybe we can feel free to be creative and express our creative ideas, stuff that maybe we've kept inside before. And if we find that we have the strength to do that and, you know, we're brave enough to open up and share our inner ideas, they will actually, that will work out in our benefit, work out in our favor. Now interestingly, the last card is the Eight of Swords reverse, and you could see like from the picture that this card is a little bit scary looking. So personally, what I'm seeing from this reading is, you know, this card when it's reversed represents helplessness or dangers that we don't see, um, and I think to focus on this reading that we have in front of us, you know, what I'm seeing is that there is strength in communicating, being open-minded, being creative, but we have to take advantage of that. And like I said, if we are brave and we are strong and we do open up and we do share things that may seem a little weird, um, we might be afraid to share, that will actually lead us in the right direction. But if we are too afraid, you know, to really give it a try, to try something new, to be inventive, to be artistic and expressive and open-minded. Um, if we're too afraid to do that, then that could lead us to feeling like in a spot where we're kind of hopeless and we aren't really sure, you know, where to go because we're not in tune with our own ideas and things that we want out of life. So I like to kind of, you know, look at this reading in a more like life situation, like a more realistic, you know, scenario, kind of apply it to life. <laughs> so for instance, you know, maybe you are somebody that has, you know, a nine to five, maybe, you know, you're in school right now and you're studying a field um, that really, you know, you think will lead you to good things, you know, you think maybe that's the way to go to get a good job or you're in a job that is secure financially right now, but inside, you know, you have other passions and maybe there's another field of study that you want to do or maybe there's another job or something you want to try and you're just being afraid to do so and you're afraid to communicate with others that this is your true self and this is what you want. If you don't take that leap or that step, what I'm seeing, especially this week, maybe something will come up, is that you might end up in a situation where you kind of feel hopeless or you kind of feel a little bit helpless and you kind of feel like you should have, you know, when you had the opportunity, leapt at it. Instead of letting it pass you by, now you kind of don't know what to do with your life or it just doesn't feel right to you. So I hope that kind of makes sense and basically the overall message that I'm getting from this is if anything crosses your path this week, anything that seems even a little bit strange but your heart or your, your desires are telling you to go for it, go for it. Be strong, make that decision, and give it a try. Take a leap. Um, and do it what your your heart and <laughs> you know your passions are telling you to do follow your passions instead of what seems like the more secure route I'm not telling you to like go quit your job or anything but if anything comes along that seems you know like if you were just be open to it it might work out for you be open-minded this week be open to new ideas be open to your creativity your artisticness your expressions be open to all that and see if it leads you somewhere positive so i hope that's helpful that is the reading for this week um, make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in a video later this week um all about the first house so that should be exciting i'm i like that video <laughs> but i will see you then and as always have a good day or night